biggest changes in the way mm-hmm. your life operates mm-hmm. after going to uh, after moving into this community? Um, that's a fair question. So something that I will mention is that we have a summer missions rule of life as well. So we, a full full time missions rule of life is a little bit different. But when we have summer missionaries come um, over the summer, like w- when we said our community yeah. um, jumps up by like 60 college students every summer, um, they also live by this rule of life. So the first time I lived into it was that summer mm-hmm. of summer of 22, actually. So it wasn't that long ago. But um, and so um, the thing that changes the most um I'm not quite sure. I think that having um, prayer, specifically the rhythm, like the rhythm of prayer, right, is probably the thing that changes the most. Like, did you say it's liturgy of the hours? What are you yeah, doing? we pray liturgy of the hours. Um, uh, we do a holy hour in front of the Blessed Sacrament, mm-hmm. and we um, go to daily mass all together. Cool. And so, I think that just having that incorporated into my schedule mm-hmm. um, just really changed everything. The consistency changed everything. Um, specifically that summer, like summer 22, when I was the photographer at Hidden Lake and I was living into the rule of life for the first time, um, having a consistent prayer schedule completely changed how I lived my life. Um, And so I took that back with me Mm -hmm. when I went back to college um, for that year. And then um, it just changed how I discerned things Mm -hmm. and it led me to eventually discern like full-time missions. And so- If I can ask the Duke a question, what, are your so did you do this were you a life team missionary before you moved into yeah good, 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 good question i was a product of it i, w- I was dragged to uh, camp as a kid through a baseball team uh, okay. and um so no i didn't but I, I did live uh i was in religious life for about four years with the brotherhood of hope oh, cool. and so you know i've observed uh, my sister and brother-in-law lived at camp okay. um and would express a lot of it and and so um you sort of like just as hearing you speak, Madeline, it, the, the fruit of people that kind of come in, you see commitment to Christ exponentially, radically transform their life years and years after missions. And so, you know, we, we brag a lot in Life Teen, like, great, we're in 15% of parishes and we surveyed every seminary in the country and we found that 35% of the seminarians came from a Life Teen program. But that's cool. that's not just because they're expressing and living a rule of life. It's they're encountering Jesus and we've seen vocations everywhere right. uh, grow up from that. So, All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, if you're enjoying the content, be sure to like, subscribe, and go back and watch a full-length video. We talk a lot more about this. We get into some other stuff. I think you'll love it. Thanks. <laughs>